Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of Hourglass. I recently picked up four of the new Hourglass cream shadow sticks that we're going to be playing with, as well as some of the new Hourglass lipsticks. So if you're curious to see which shades I picked up and how I created this look, keep watching. I am so excited today to film this Hourglass video. I did pick up four of the new cream shadow sticks. I also have four different lipsticks that I haven't used yet. So we're gonna use the eyeshadow sticks. I will swatch the lipsticks and I'll use one of those today, but I will try and use most of these new cream shadow sticks. I will also be doing a full face of Hourglass. It's been a while since we've done that. I'm gonna start with my primer. This is the Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is a really nice mattifying primer. I wear this underneath my foundations that are a little bit more dewy. Now I do have two different hourglass foundations. I honestly don't like either one. I don't know if it's the formula or the shade. Because the shade isn't right, I can't seem to even get past or get to the point of liking the formula. So that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and use, this is the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation. I'm almost out of it. I thought I would go ahead and try and use it up today since it is one that I'm really, really close to finishing and it is a more dewy, radiant foundation. I don't know what it is about the Hourglass foundations. I think they just run a little bit yellow. They just don't, they don't look the best on me. But I'm gonna try again in the summer when my skin is just a little bit deeper. Maybe I can make the ones that I have work. I do know a lot of people love the new foundation, but I just couldn't get it to work for me. The foundation shade that I'm using today is B30. It's a little bit deep for me. I probably should be using B20, but it works. It's just not the best match. B20 is definitely a better match for me right now. I do have an hourglass concealer. This is shade Cedar, but I did get this little sample card in the mail when I made my purchase. And I'm very curious about this shade up here. This is creme. So I'm actually going to try that today and see how that works. Actually, I think I'm going to try the middle one. So the middle one is silk. So I'm going to try silk. I will swatch silk up against the one that I have, which is cedar and see how, see how they compare. So there's cedar and there's silk. So silk, I think, probably will be a little bit of a better match for me. It looks like there's a little bit more pink undertone. I actually do have the Hourglass Concealer brush, so I'm just gonna pick a little bit of that concealer up with the brush and use it to apply. Now, I got a little much. This concealer is extremely full coverage. It is very, very, very full coverage. Look at that, holy cow. I got way too much. So I'm just going to blend right there with this brush. I'm going to go in with my foundation brush to then blend this out. Definitely lighter than the foundation, so it's definitely going to brighten my under eyes. But I think once I blended it down with that foundation brush, it looks okay. I'm going to take the Hourglass Veil Powder. This is a loose powder. It says it's just a translucent setting powder, so I don't know that there's a shade. I'm going to be trying this uh, Chikohoto F01, F09 powder brush. I am on the hunt for a natural haired powder brush. I've used this before. I wasn't blown away, but maybe I just need to keep using it and get used to it. Sometimes I use new brushes and I don't like them, but the more I use them, the more I get used to them and I like them. So I thought I would keep trying it, see if I can learn to love it. So that powder really took down some of that radiance from the foundation, which is something that I wanted. I was looking a little bit too dewy. For bronzer, I don't have a standalone bronzer, but I have this Tiger palette here, the Ambient Lighting Edit, and in it is a bronzer. So. This shade right here, I believe, is a finishing powder. It does work really nice as a bronzer for me, so that's the shade I'm going to use today. I'm going to take my Chikohoto F01 to 
to pick up that shade and we'll use that today. The Hourglass powder products are so good. They are so, so good, especially on mature skin. They don't show any texture. They go down flawlessly. I just love them. They do have an Hourglass cream shadow and this is shade loyal that is what it looks like i really really like the hourglass formula for their cream blushes i'm definitely interested in picking up some other shades so i'm just taking my bk beauty 106 to pick up some of that product and i will apply it to my cheeks they don't have very many shades but i would be interested in getting at least one more for powder blush i do have a ambient lighting blush and I have shade mood exposure I think it's just really a beautiful powder blush for highlighter I'm going to go into another palette this is the ambient lighting edit universe palette and I'm going to go into this shade right here which is their strobe powder and specifically it is the super natural strobe light so i'm going to take a sonia g designer pro and just add a little bit of that strobe powder to my cheeks now we're ready to move on to some new products so like i said i did pick up four of these new shadow sticks i cannot wait to try them you guys i am really really excited i do have high expectations of these so i will swatch them for you I picked up shade Aurora, which looks like a green. So on the box, there is a little stripe there with a color and then the name underneath it. So it shows you the color as well as the name. And then here is the packaging. At the bottom there, you do also have the shade. So again, this is Aurora, which is a green. These have a 12 month shelf life and they were made in the USA. So that, when I opened it, it completely fell out. So we're not off to a good start. I will swatch it very carefully, but I'm not gonna use this shade today. So there it is, swatched. Because it completely broke off, I am gonna contact Hourglass. So next I have shade Prism. Looks like a really nice champagne, kind of pink champagne color. Next, I have shade Equinox. Looks like a bronze color. And then the last one I picked up is Moon. And that just looks like a very light highlight shade. So those are the four shades that I got. Since I'm not gonna be using this green, I will just be using those three. We'll definitely create a look. Now I'm gonna let this sit and in a couple minutes I'll go back and try and move it and see how well it sets down. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Prism and we're just gonna use that as kind of like a base. They go on super, super easily. I am gonna blend this out with a Sonia G Builder now this is a brush, it's one of her fusion brushes, so you can use this brush with cream or powder products. I'm going to take that bronze shade Equinox and take that into the outer corner. So I think this is going to be a very light look. I mean, it's not going to be a very deep look blend that I'm using a Sonia G crease pro like you can see it's it doesn't really show up I think that green would have been better but I don't want to I don't want to use it yeah so my only thing I would say right now is that these are very light in shade they're not very pigmented Now I could go in with some powder on top, but the whole point was to just use the cream sticks. So I guess that's a little bit of a disappointment. So now I'm gonna go in 
with the lightest of the shades Moon. Formula wise, I'm really impressed. But I think it's just the shades and that's my fault. You know, I'm the one who chose them, so. But you never know. Sometimes you can, the cream shadow sticks are super pigmented. So I'm kind of careful in the shades I choose. And obviously this one was the opposite. They were pretty light. So that was super, super quick. It did not take any time, probably three minutes, if that. So now I'm gonna go in and see if I can move these. These have dried down and they are not budging at all. So that is good. That is good to know. That is one of the reasons I really, really love these cream shadow sticks is you put them on and you can go. You, they stay all day. That is, I mean, cream shadow sticks are just so easy to work with. I really, really like them. I am gonna go ahead and take that Equinox and try and go underneath my eye and see what happens if I use it under. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, I think that looks really, really good. So now I'll go ahead and line my eyes. To line my eyes, I'm gonna use, this is the Voyeur Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I absolutely love these. These are definitely some of the best eyeliners on the market. Highly, highly recommend them. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with that. I have a sample of the Hourglass Mascara. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera and then we'll be back to see the final eye look and to swatch and uh, talk about these new lipsticks. Here's the finished eye look. I do think that it is really pretty. I think those shadow sticks are really, really nice. Like I said, they are just not very pigmented and the shades I chose just happen to be really, really light. So that's, that's on me. Um, formula wise, I do think that they are really, really nice and I do really like the way the eye look turned out. So now let's look at these four new lipsticks that I picked up. These are the Hourglass Unlocked Satin Creme Lipsticks. So I have done a couple shorts using these new lipsticks, but I haven't done a video swatching all four or using all four. So I'm gonna start with shade 302 Tide. And just like the box for the shadow sticks, you do have the shade there on the side. The lipsticks have a 12 month shelf life and are made in Korea. Here is the packaging of them. You do have the H there for Hourglass. And then you just pull up and there is the bullet. So here is Tide. I have used this one before. I absolutely love it. I think out of the four, Tide is my favorite. I have shade 312 Oasis. Those are extremely similar. <laughs> um, they really are. I have shade Dahlia and this is number 318. And Dahlia is definitely more pink. And then last is shade 304 Alpine, and I don't know that I have used this one yet. So those are the four shades I got. Other than Dahlia, the three that I got are so similar. They are so similar. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking I like a pinky nude lipstick. That's what I was thinking. Now I will say that the formula is really, really nice. Like I said, I have done shorts on these. I have used them. I really do like the formula. I think it feels very nice on the lips. It's very, very hydrating. It's not gonna last you all day. I wouldn't say that there's anything exceptional about the lipsticks, but they are a very nice lipstick and so far I have been very impressed. I don't have an hourglass lip liner, so I'm gonna use this liner here from Makeup Forever liner and it is shade, I think it's Walnut, Wherever Walnut. So I'm gonna line my lips with that. And I'm gonna use shade 304 Alpine. I don't think I've used this one yet, so let's go ahead and try this out. I really, really like them. I think they are pretty. Now I know I picked up three shades that are almost identical, but they're shades that I'm gonna wear, they're shades that I like, so I'm really, I can't complain. 
All right, so there is my almost full face of Hourglass using the new Hourglass cream shadows as well as the new Hourglass lipstick. Let me know what you guys think I would love to hear. Now, like I said in previous videos, I do have several, several new shadow sticks and I want to do a comparison video and I will be doing that video shortly. I did want to do a video just on the Hourglass shadows first. So far, I'm really, really impressed. I will leave a pinned comment on how these shadow sticks wore throughout the day. I won't be able to film later in the day as I am getting ready to leave, head down to the lake. So I won't actually, I won't be able to film, but I will be wearing these all day and I can leave a pinned comment on how they wore and what my thoughts were. And again, I will do a comparison video comparing the new Hourglass to the new Victoria Beckham, as well as to some of the other shadow sticks that I have in my collection. But so far, first impression, very, very impressive. As far as the lipsticks, like I said, I've had them for a few months now. I have been wearing them. I will try and link up above some of the shorts that I've done using these lipsticks. I really, really like them. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video.